to make this shit up. I mean, it's like when I say shit like this, I'm not trying to be funny. By far, like, people really want to act like addiction or me saying this shit was a fucking... It was anything but me being scared, y'all. I'm, I'm, I was really scared. I don't know what's going to happen to him. I hope he does get the help that he needs. That he needs. But I know that... When you are dealing with the addict... And they literally, um, cause this isn't the first time he he wipes my account clean. He just done did this before. I just don't speak on shit. I just feel like certain things are irrelevant, and I don't. I try to hold people up to a pedestal. And even if I do say certain things, I know that certain things are off topic. Like I didn't want to bring up the children, the, his child situation, but if a nigga can't even take care of his own kid. How the fuck? Like, he don't even pay child support. And he had every option or outlet to do it with the money that we was making. He never made one payment. Never. Since I've been with him, I don't know if he made not. He, he doesn't make. He doesn't. From what I know. I really don't understand why he even tried that shit. I don't. I don't understand you. Why you even? Why you even? Um, why you even responded? You should have just wanted to go get the help you needed because now you give me a reason to go in on your ass. You give me a reason for people to know who the fuck you are. You give me a reason. That's one kid. Nobody wins in this situation, y'all. When we got this apartment together, my intentions was to stay with Cash. My intentions were we're going to get married. I was willing to work out any problems that he had, even the addiction. And that's not even funny, but even that. It's so many things I overlooked. Him being ran through. Let's start there. Him being... On Tina before he met me. He's lost teeth. During. He's lost teeth. And I'm not even playing. I've seen this nigga pull out a couple of teeth. Like some of his teeth are falling out. Due to. Consecutive drug use. Due to. Overindulging. But look at my teeth. They're still there. You know, they're not all perfect. They get out, they spaced out, but they're still there. I haven't been doing drugs. At least not, not that kind of drug. At least not hardcore drugs. Until I met you, I didn't get on cocaine. So don't ever try to play me like that. Please. None of my friends do it. None of the people I know do it. None of the people I associate myself with do that. But your friends, they know coke is. They got the coke. We go over their house because you want to go do coke. Wake it up. Let's wake it up. Same people that you so-called getting help with. I hope they get the help they need to. Since everybody just don't want to be real. Since nobody's doing drugs, but the drugs are being done. Girl, stop it. What is Tina? Tina is heroin. It's a big, it's a big drug within the community. A lot of boys, a lot of people are doing it. Do I have roommates? No. My best friend is visiting from Texas. I mean, from Tennessee. Because I didn't want to sleep alone. And everybody who thinks that I'm just having a revolving door of niggas, no. I haven't even had anybody over here. But my friends. But people that don't want to fuck me. But you go chill with people that want to fuck you. You go chill with people that send us dick pics. You go chill with people that you said you want that you said you wanted them to fuck you before you met me. You go chill with these niggas without my acknowledgement and stay gone for hours. But y'all just talking. And I'm tripping. I'm insecure. Because y'all are, you know, 
Mm. It's meth. Well, I don't know the difference between that shit. I ain't never did that shit a day in my life. No, I won't. If life ain't that bad. Life is not that hard. Y'all not asking the right questions. Y'all ain't. Y'all, it's like, I'm, I'm really open right now. And like, I really, I like, I, like I told y'all, I've been through trauma. And it's like, I don't even know everything that transpired. Because I was so fucking out of it during the, the whole situation. And on drugs. Like, come on now, I'm just being real. Let's be real. I'm being real with y'all. And it's like, it hurt me to even embarrass myself like this. My friend just came out there and told me, get off of this. Because I'm looking foolish. For y'all. Because I, I have to feel like I need to explain myself. I have to defend myself. I have to defend my, my honor. To let y'all know that, you know, um, everything with me is not all together. I'm not perfect by far. But um, I'm not going to allow somebody who literally ruined my life. Who came into my life and um, didn't make the situation better. But I bettered their situation. I helped them grow. But I didn't grow. I end up. Going back. Let alone. Yeah. I, it, I could sit here and act like everything is good. That I'm winning. This shit is in my name. That I'm going to be alright. But actuality. It stresses me the fuck out. Because I, my plans wasn't to do it like this. Even to the day where we broke up. We have been broken up before this, before this shit happened. We planned it on protecting each other. We planned it on continuing to do certain things to make sure each other's names were never going to be tarnished like this. Because we're already, people are already laughing at us. When we got together, we were two hurt people trying to heal each other. And it didn't hurt. It didn't, it didn't work. It did not work. How many times have I used? I don't know. I don't do that shit no more. It doesn't matter if I did that shit a billion to three times. I did it. And I'm going to be real about it. A lot of y'all motherfuckers doing it now and can't even speak up and say that you have a fucking problem. Let alone the people that you fucking with. Speak up. Yeah. What's up, nigga? Come on, my son. Do y'all know my charger is? It's not giving that. But I hope this helps somebody else and um, uh, gives them the strength to leave somebody who isn't helping their growth, who isn't helping their development, who isn't good for them. Because um, I should have left a lot sooner. I mean, he should have left a lot sooner. I should have put his ass out a lot sooner. Um, it shouldn't even went this far. But like I said, I hope that this helps somebody else get the strength. Get the strength to move on and let them know that that's not love. Um, that that wasn't love. And I know a lot of people had hope and faith for that relationship. This should be a wake-up call. This should let y'all know that um, everything that look good ain't good. And try to analyze the people in your life and remove those people who are unnecessary. Because if they're not helping you, if they're not helping you grow, they're hurting you. Like, the people around me, they... They mo we motivate each other. I hang around bosses. I hang around people that have motherfucking over. It's not even what they got in their bank account. Their mentality. They wouldn't allow any. They wouldn't allow this shit. They people who fuck with me or text me right now get off alive. It's not. That's not good. We we spread love. We don't do shit like this. Real bosses spread love. And for him to be so hate and negative, he would never prosper. And I don't wish that on him. I hope he does. I hope that he gets where he needs to go. But even the way that he addressed the escape in, in situation, he's so entitled. And he's so just um not for me. And I just want to get on it, get on to something better. 
I don't want to keep talking about this situation. It's not benefiting me none. It's not benefiting me none. Emotionally, physically, mentally, financially, y'all ain't sending shit. So, um, this shit is not... Yeah, this, I'm serious, Trin. Like, this shit is not that. It's ain't, this ain't giving that. Like, I'm not finna sit here and be like... I'm not finna sit here and, and, and give y'all leverage to make... To, to be like I told you so. To sit here and laugh at me. With shit I already knew that was fucked up. And I'm just being real and honest about the whole situation. To my capabilities. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. Cause I can't. It's so, this is the most ignorant situation I've ever been in in my life. I am so embarrassed. Like, beyond embarrassment. I don't even know what level I'm on right now. I just feel like a fucking clown. I should dye my hair back red. Because I'm a fucking clown. Clown ass nigga. I, I, I was played. And, um... I just want to prevent the next person from being played. Oh, uh, and the only one that go cry for your own here because it's like, I ain't y'all don't deserve it, and I'm not crying because I'm, I'm not gonna cry. But I was about to shit too because this shit is it. It's unnecessary. It's unfucking necessary. Mm. But I'm happy that I can be y'all laughing with you today. I'm happy that um, this little drama has entertained y'all because, like I said, this is my real life. And um, this is what I've chosen to do. I made my relationship public, so I decided to make the breakup public as well. And y'all take it for however the fuck y'all want. This is my real life, and I'm going to give y'all the real spill, real deal. Holy field over here. I ain't got to flick. I ain't got to cap. I ain't got to do all that extra shit. I ain't like these other Instagram niggas. I ain't no social media influencer. I ain't got to sit here and act like I'm doing this shit for a click, like, review or a subscription. I just wanted to expose the real for what it is. And um, that nigga ain't real at all. He's not real at all. I'm, um, I don't want to keep talking about this, y'all. I really, y'all don't understand that, like, I don't know if y'all ever been in a breakup before, but it is, it is rough. Because it makes you not want to trust nobody. It makes you not want to fuck with nobody. I don't even want to be touched. I don't even want to have sex. But I still got to feel for OnlyFans. I still got to go find somebody or something to do, you know, because I know that, um, <sighs> New content coming soon. Make sure I subscribe. Sorry, videos on those. Eight dollars a month. I am drained, y'all. Like completely. It's like I wake up to some new shit every day. Like new bullshit every day. This, this, this. Is, I mean, I, I thought that this relationship was over when he left. So it's like I wake up to a nightmare every day. That I have to wake up and get messages and posts that people are saying that he's talking shit. Because I was talking shit too. I expected it. But that wouldn't happen if he wouldn't have left me in that fucked up situation like that. In a fucked up situation. And if I don't have anybody, you know these things. Why would you take from somebody who don't have nobody? Why would you take from somebody who don't have nothing? Who don't have the support from their mother? Who don't have the support from their father? My mom can't help me because she's in a situation where she needs help. If you want to be real, my dad can't help me because he's on dialysis and he's not my biological father. But these people treat me like family. I ain't mean dialysis. I mean diabetic. My dad's diabetic. They're starting to cut on his toe. Well, the guy who the, the guy who raised me. 
We don't have the best relationship. I can't call them for nothing. I can't call nobody for shit. I got to get out here and get it on my own. But you have that option. You can call your parents and ask them for something at the age of 30. And you proud of that? That's why I don't want to be with a man like that. That's not a man. That's a boy. I don't want to be with somebody like that. It's a man that's a boy. That's not a man. That's a boy. Y'all about to listen to what K. Michelle said. You can't raise a fucking man. And this shit is motherfucking stupid. I don't give a fuck about JD being upset. Tell that bitch pull up. All these hoes know where the fuck I stay. I don't care. I woke it up. I woke it up. Now what? Y'all used to fuck. Y'all fucked each other before y'all started being best friends. That's a fact. And y'all fuck niggas on OnlyFans to sustain the house that y'all, to sustain the little apartment in the West End that y'all stayed in. They had niggas running in and out of the rotating doors of niggas still. To this day, you still be having niggas out in and out your house. Bitch, get, please, pull up. Say this shit in my face. I want any of y'all hoes to. I dare you. Y'all hoes not hard. Y'all bitches. Y'all hoes ain't screech. Y'all hoes sidewalk. Like, for real. Y'all hoes, come on. Y'all are hoes. Literally, hoes. Don't fuck with me. Please don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Ass, busted ass, run through ass, crusted ass bitches trying to do some shit that I did years ago with the company that fucked me over there, barely pays y'all bitches. Don't start with me for real. I can wake it up for real. Right, who the fuck is that? Come on, y'all. Y'all quit playing with me. Shout out to Dime. The baddest What's up, bitch. Man? The baddest bitch. He's not funny. You can learn how to talk to the motherfucking, the motherfucking people. That one, what's the thing? So, I'm going to go to the Ran the fuck through. Yes, let's go. I'm ready to go to the city. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm ready. I don't know what the fuck's going to pop out. Oh, yeah. I said I'm going to do a little, I'm going to throw a little get, get together here in Atlanta. Yeah. DM me for the address. We got bottles and blunts. Bring your own bottle. Bring your own blunt. DM me for the address. We're going to turn up tonight. We got Tennessee in the motherfucking building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out. 615. 615. Yeah. motherfucking yeah. building. I'm here. Facts. What's that nigga? Yeah. Where the shirt is? He on the porch. I was like, what? <laughs> the little thing here with you. <laughs> no, that would not be coke. <laughs> no, y'all. No. Unfortunately, we we got Coca-Cola products, but we don't got the white girl. No, we don't do that anymore. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have it for you. Oh, JD is going in. Let the girl go in, please. Oh, my God. I'm happy I woke it up for y'all. I don't care. I do not give a fuck. Y'all don't understand. All these bitches love me. Cause Rico don't give a fuck. Fuck y'all me. Y'all niggas lame as fuck. Pull up. Fuck y'all talking about. <sighs> Steven. You know I'm fucking pissed. Uh, but you're going to be all right. Fuck these niggas. Get money. Still do your shit. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. You don't need them. And these bitches, and they, they bitches have a nerve to say they're beneath me, girl. Like... <laughs> Y'all you don't need them. that's ran through Atlanta. Every nigga that touched slip the fuck you. Nah, baby. Wait, they said JD is Jermaine Dupri. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bitch. That's not I'm Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> not Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> they talking about Steven. I wanted to get him off. Shut the fuck up. Y'all mad because y'all couldn't get Andy. Huh? I don't give a fuck. Next time to pull up. I did. What? <laughs> 
these bitches want to go on live and act like they hard. Come on, bro. Say that same shit over here on these mother. Let's you know see. the fuck I stay. Y'all hoes know the fuck I stay. Y'all hoes are hard online. Keep that I same energy offline, girl. Man. Come on, bro. Because don't be fighting them, though. Yeah. Don't fight them over this shit. Fuck that. I'm not fighting nobody. They just mad because I'm waking the shit up. I'm exposing them for the, what it is. Bitch, you ain't I mean, real. Bitch, yeah. I fuck y'all friends. Y'all mad because y'all fuck y'all friends and I don't. My friends are my real friends. I ain't got to fuck my friends. I don't fuck my friends because they my real friends. Y'all bitches stay fucking and sucking and licking on each other and then get mad for me waking it up, bitch. Get the fuck out of here and pull up, like I said. I mean, and I get it. You probably dealt with a lot of shit that everybody don't know about. You probably let so much shit go. So and that's another thing. In relationships, people do that. We think they happy because we only see what y'all let us see. But on the outside looking in. I'm, they pull up over here, they getting knocked the fuck down. They getting Rico dropped. Rico JD said on his IG live, he will pull up. Do he know where you stay? I don't give a fuck. If he do pull up, pull up. Please pull up, JD. He he had it out for me anyway. This bitch really mad. Bitch, Wait, mad. so this JD thing, is these are the real facts, facts. right? He mad because I took his best friend from him. The same nigga that he used to fuck and fuck on. He mad because I took his best friend. He don't have that situation no more. Bitch, I was never friends. I was never roommates. Y'all fucked each other. Y'all fucked every nigga that came through that house together. Ooh. And you still get ran through, still getting bust down every fucking... You got different niggas in your house every night, nigga. Get the fuck out of my face. Three or four different niggas going through your house. What? Come on, throw... Mm. Just relax. Let it out. Let it out. But damn. Bitch, I'm saying a revolving door of niggas. You have a, day, a daytime dick, morning... I mean, noon dick and night dick, nigga. And a nigga that's staying with you, that's giving you dick. Well, where that's dick at? I need that type of dick. Morning, noon, night, and a nigga that stay with me dick. And he bitch. mad because, oh, he mad because I woke up and he couldn't pay his rent. Yeah, we was paying your rent while we stayed there, bitch. While you wasn't working and your OnlyFans wasn't popping. Let's be real. Let's wake that up too, bitch. Oh, you Fuck can't you bite me. your hand You said under 200 subscribers mad at us because we eating over here, bitch. Eating for you, ho. When the shit is in your name, bitch. Fuck you mean. Ho, y'all about to stop fucking playing with me. I'm gonna put my glasses on, bitch. No, this is what I need. <laughs> and then his, and then his best friend got the nerve to run off with my motherfucking. Come on now, like that's the only reason why I'm upset because I feel played in the whole situation. I did nothing but help these bitches out, and oh my god, I feel like I feel like you don't, you can't help people like that. You can't help people like that. No, you can't. Even you to the point where you we really was, can't help people at all like that sometimes. Sometimes people even help to the people point where it was like he was literally chilling. He didn't have to pay. His, he didn't have to do shit. We was paying for everything, and the shit was in his name, and we was comfortable with it. We were all roommates. I didn't mind. I didn't care. I didn't care about their history. I didn't care about none of that shit. And so it clicked to me. It was like, you know what? We need to be paying for our own shit. We need to get our own shit. This is not something that Cash is even considering. This is. I wanted to move out, but we got put out because we got to fight in his house. Wrecked you and that, Cash got the fight in his house? Wrecked that shit the day after Christmas. I mean, the day before Christmas. Wrecked it. Throwing Christmas trees and everything. Damn. Christmas trees? Yeah. All that. The fuck wrong with y'all? You give a fuck about these bitches getting mad? Bitch, I've been mad. Damn, fuck. I never would have thought. Like, I don't know. I just missed nothing. Yeah. Damn. You know That's I love y'all. Bitch, you mad? For what? Because I'm a, cause, cause I ain't had to do the shit y'all had to do. Cause I ain't had to fuck five, six niggas to get known. I ain't had to fuck five, ten, three, five, thirty niggas in within a month span to get known. <laughs> That's why y'all bitches mad. That's messy. Come on, now. Being messy for fuck me. that faggot. Oh. But you done held so much in. I mean, I done held. I done, I done. I done literally did hand out. with a lot. I done paid bills. I done motherfucking put money in these hoes' accounts, and these the same bitches want to. Bite my motherfucking hand. Y'all hoes got me fucked up. Y'all hoes got me never bite the hand to feed you, bitch. Never. Oh, my motherfucking God. Bitch, never bitch. bite the hand to feed you. <laughs> what, bitch? Y'all hoes got, like, fucked up. Bring and I wasn't even gonna wake it up like that. But, bitch, you, you're broke. You're working at fucking Wingstop, ho. Oh, well, let me get a um, lemon pepper original hot off. Like, right. Send me that lemon pepper wings, off. bitch. Give me my order, ho. Who worked at Wingstop, bitch? Ass, well, bitch. Oh, wait, you're a host. You're not a waiter. You're a host, bitch. At Wingstop. Bitch, stop it. You can't come for me. You ain't fucking with a bitch like me. Who hosted Wingstop? I ain't gonna say the whole nothing. She irrelevant. Girl, what? 
Got the nerve, you mad, you bitch. You know about it. You wish you could oh, get on my flat. bitch. You wanna, you wanna beef with a bitch like me so you can get some notoriety, ho. You and your friends ate off of me. I put food in y'all bitches' plate. Hey, y'all. Uh, What's up? Fuck y'all mean. I said that. He said you brought a table. Mad. When y'all had shit in y'all. Come on, now. Y'all ain't had oh, shit you in that apartment table? before I got there. Let's be real. Let's wake that up. Y'all ain't had shit in that apartment before I got there. Rico, I think you should really just stay single friend for a while. Like, just focus on you, because it seems like people want to... See, this live in the end, come back in. I'm coming in and waking this shit back the fuck up. Y'all hoes got, like, fucked up. Okay, it's about the end. I'm coming back. Just when you go live, I'm coming back up. Yeah, y'all comment under there. Wings, please. Oh, no wings. <laughs> lemon pepper five piece, bitch. <laughs> Can I get a lemon pepper off <laughs> that? I don't know. It's all love.